Callan Diggs, international best-selling author. I've reached the finish line, as seen in Fox News, Fast Company, and Inc. Magazine. It is August, and the beginning of August, and I am here in Zaragoza, Spain. And I just want to take a moment to share uh, some insights that people should consider when expatriating to another country or if you're deciding to expatriate to another country and perhaps you want to go somewhere as equal um, to the country that you came from. First of all, when you, to, when you expatriate to another country, you have to ask yourself, uh, what are your priorities? Could it be the, the climate? Um, especially, that's one thing for me. You know, I definitely couldn't see myself expatriating to a place that's cold like Scandinavia or Iceland uh, or North, Northern Canada because I don't like the cold weather. When it comes to your dietary lifestyle, Um, you have uh, countries like the United Kingdom, uh, England, Wales, and Scotland. You have countries like Australia. Um, you also have uh, countries that have English as a second as a, as a second language, and there's a pretty good bilingual population, and where sometimes you can get away with not speaking any Spanish. I know in San Miguel de Allende, one of the first Mexican towns I started living, uh, pretty much almost every Mexican was bilingual. And even if they wasn't fully bilingual, they was bilingual enough to do business, you know, when you went to the store. So uh, that's something to consider. Uh, personally, for me, I speak Spanish. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's definitely uh, good enough to survive uh, in, in a country like Mexico and now a country like Spain. So those are some things to consider. Uh, the, the final last thing is considered is work, obviously. Um, healthcare is also important too. Um, you definitely want to consider that uh, to see if a lot of the possibly things you need, whether maybe it's a specialist doctor or surgeries or, or the price of meds or maybe uh, if there's a And so basically it was uh, still with Coca-Cola, but it was abroad in, uh, in, uh, in, in Ecuador. That's an option too. Uh, you can be an entrepreneur like myself. Uh, you can have kind of a uh, lo location independent business. I have US clients in US dollars and it gets converted to euros, uh, if I, me being here now, or pesos when I was in Mexico or whatever currency you're at. So that's something to consider. Uh, one of the things that I really liked um, uh, in the country before I came here, which was Mexico, is uh, the exotic charm. You know, for me, I'm African American. Uh, in um, uh, in Mexico, there's not a lot of young gringos in Mexico. Uh, it's just a preface that uh, young gringos in Mexico that's off 
of the Gringo Tourist Trail, which means that they're not in very uh, heavy, heavily, heavily dominated Gringo cities. You know, San Miguel, Cancun, Playa del Carmen. And where I lived, at, I lived in a real Mexican town. Like you, basically, the real authentic Mexican culture. Um, the, the 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 foreign population was less than 100 people. Uh, I I I'll even go to further say it was probably about 50 people. Um, so uh, I, I I I really appreciate the exotic charm. You know, I got treated better. People were interested to me. Uh, you know, Mexican culture people are already nice, but they was much nicer to me. Very patient with me. Uh, it was it was great. It was great. Uh, here in Spain, uh, I guess they're more desensitized to uh, foreigners. Uh, so uh, I guess that that exotic charm. That Radio show airing on AM, FM, and satellite radio in 10 plus countries. Until next time, thank you for watching. Oh.